The Indian River County Sheriff's Office has identified the killer of a decorative uh, veteran, a cold case from 1968 after nearly 60 years of suspense. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us in Indian River County with how deputies were able to solve this case. The so-called milkman homicide was the oldest cold case in the history of the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. 56 years later, deputies have identified Thomas Williams as the killer. Hiram Ross Graham was a Purple Heart recipient who relocated to Vero Beach with his family in the 60s. He was a salesman for Border Milk Company. He went out to do his routes in Gifford on April 11, 1968, but never came home. A witness told deputies she saw Graham talking to two men who were walking on the side of the road. She said that Mr. Graham engaged them in conversation and announced that he would be back shortly. All three, the two black males and Mr. Graham, left in his truck. We didn't realize anything had happened except we, my father was a little late in coming home and then um, a sheriff's deputy and investigator showed up. And that's when Hiram's son Larry, who was 16 at the time, realized something was wrong. The following day, the sheriff's office coordinated with Piper at the Vero Beach Airport to get a plane up, locating Hiram's body from above in what now is the Orangewood Park Apartments off 38th Avenue. When they arrived at the initial scene, Mr. Graham was laying next to the milk truck with bullet wounds, killed execution style. If you were 16 years old, they told you you're, we found your dad's body in the woods, shot to death. How would anybody feel like that? You're completely devastated. The trail went cold for decades until Larry did an interview with a local media outlet in 2006, which the killer, Thomas Williams, saw. 2006, that was the first time that we really got the information about Thomas Williams uh, being potentially involved in this. Thomas Williams wrote a letter to the editor of the newspaper after he saw the coverage that was happening, uh, saying that he had been accused of the murder, but he denied having knowledge of it, that he wasn't involved in it. The trail again went cold, and in 2016, Williams died. However, over the last two years, his ex-wife and a friend of his sister came forward. And these folks said, I would have never said anything to you before. As long as he was alive, he was a threat to me and my family. We would have never told you. But the fact that he is now dead gave them the courage to come forward. Two independent witnesses who both say that this guy confessed to killing the milkman to them, independent of each other, don't know each other. The sheriff's office believes they have an idea of who the second man who participated in the killing was and are asking Gifford residents who may know something to call them or Crime Stoppers to fully wrap up this case. In Indian River County, Dylan Huberman, CBS 12 News.